Reese, and for today's video, you and I are going to dive head on into the legend of Slender Man. I had such a fun time researching all about Slender Man and all of the different stories and facts and things like that surrounding him, and there is so much that we have to talk about today. There are so many things that I read that lead me to believe that Slender Man could truly exist, but then again, there are so many people that just believe that he was nothing but a made up story that blew into this big, giant phenomena. However, you guys should definitely make sure to watch today's video straight to the end because I don't know if you remember my possessed child video. If you've not seen it, I'll put a little card up here for you. You can go check that out. But she told me so many things about Slender Man and so many things about her relationship with him that back then to me it was like in one ear out the other I was already too afraid but now that I have read up on him there are so many correlations so once I'm done talking about what exactly he is and what's been going on with him I'm gonna get into my own personal experience with Amelia and kind of give you guys the down low on that so you'll definitely want to watch to the end if you want to hear about that but without further ado let's get into today's video before I do get into today's video though, I just want to say as per usual, if you are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed, hello, my name is Haley. my family here is the Reese's Pieces. We believe in the unbelievable, so if you too believe in the unbelievable or you just want to hear about it, go ahead, click that subscribe button, join our family and never miss another video. So Slender Man is a paranormal figure that many people believe has existed for centuries all across the world. In 2009, Slender Man surfaced as a story on creepypasta said to have just been a made-up tale. Supposedly, the creator of the story had made the pictures of Slender Man to enter a photo competition or something of that sort, but the minute that this story surfaced, people all across the globe had correlations to this and believed it to be true. Everybody started to share their experiences. It became this whole entire phenomenon, and suddenly what started out as a creepypasta scary story turned into the legend of Slender Man. Now in 2014, a 12 year old girl and her friend that both lived in Wisconsin repeatedly stabbed their friend in the forest in honor of Slender Man to prove their loyalty, claiming Slender Man made me do it. And she crawled to the curb just near death when a cyclist found her. They said that they wanted to prove their loyalty to Slender Man and protect their friends and family from him. She is quoted saying word for word, I believed if I didn't go through with it, Slender Man would come and attack and kill myself, my friends, and my family, those I cared about the most, who are now going to be standing trial at the age of 15 and trying to plea their insanity. I wanted to start out by saying this, just to really throw out there that people truly believe in Slender Man and people all across the world are doing things to so, just to join him, so to say. Now friends of these 12 year old girls claimed that they truly saw Slender Man in that park and that he had asked them to prove that they were loyal to him and to prove to him that they were going to, to serve him well. So who is Slender Man? What exactly is he and why is he causing people all across the world to commit such disgusting acts in his name? So obviously he's an extremely tall, slender man with ridiculously long arms and legs. He wears a suit and his face is pale and ghostly. It almost appears as though he has gauze over top of his face. Now it's commonly thought that he resides in the woods and he preys on children. Whether or not he actually murders the children or takes them to a different dimension or just abducts them for maybe an art, I don't know. Nobody knows because when these children turn up missing in the legend of Slender Man, there is no remains ever found. They are just simply up, gone, and never seen again. It is said that when Slender Man's arms are outstretched, the victim then goes into a hypnotic state and has no choice but to enter into his arms. Now it's also said that he enjoys stalking those who are paranoid of his existence and he makes it almost a game where if you believe, truly believe in Slender Man, it is said that he loves it. He loves to scare and stalk and prey on those who are so afraid of him. It's almost as if he enjoys the fear factor of it. So it is said that these people will start to see Slender Man maybe outside their windows or maybe in the forest or in the park or wherever it may be until they are so afraid and he finally outstretches the arms and takes them where they're never seen again. 
So his main intentions appear to be abducting children, and it is said that if you take a photograph of your child and Slender Man's in the background, or things like that, your child or those children will soon disappear. It's almost instant when it comes to these situations. But what I found most interesting in my research on Slender Man is that if you look way back in history, there are many different legends and paintings and things that, that that appear to be Slender Man, they appear to be very, very similar. In the northeast of Brazil, there are said to be cave paintings that date back to 9000 BC. In one of the particular paintings, however, there is an extremely tall figure leading a child, and nobody really understands his purpose in these paintings that date back to time, time ago. <laughs> There's a similar theme in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. In Romanian mythology, there is a legend of the tall man, which also looks oddly similar to Slender Man. And in English mythology, there is a tree man that only lives within the forest and abducts the children. So many people believe that all of these different things are examples of Slender Man throughout centuries, throughout history, and that whoever created this story didn't actually create a story at all. He simply told a story that has been going on for centuries. Now I want to show you guys something super interesting. This right here is a recovered photograph that was taken by Mary Thomas. Mary Thomas has now been missing since June 13th, 1986. This picture was taken the day that 14 children vanished and was recovered in the Sterling City Library blaze. The actual picture has been taken in as evidence, but the children were never found, the remains were never found, and it has since been known as Slender Man Abduction. Now I'm going to tell you guys about the little girl that I babysat and her experience with Slender Man. Now I'm going to be entirely real with you guys, I did not know much about Slender Man when I was babysitting her. I had heard like little bits of it. I almost wondered back then if it was like a part of a TV show or something like that and maybe she, I mean she's seven years old, she has a lot of other things going on with her, but she started to tell me about how one of her friends was Slender Man. And at this point in babysitting her, you guys, I was honestly just at the point of just letting her talk like this and not feeding into it too much, personally because I was afraid, and also just because I felt that the more that I gave into it, if it had been some sort of an act, she might realize that she's not getting the rise out of me that she wanted. She said that she met him when she was laying in bed at night and he appeared outside of her window. And basically, he would tell her to do all of these bad things. She told me that he would only come at night, but when she was at school in the playgrounds, she would see him in the forest near the school. So she said that she would point him out to her friends and none of her friends would see him, but when they would turn and go to walk away, apparently he would still be there and he would tell her to do these really, really horrible things. He would tell her to hurt her brother, he would tell her to hurt her grandma, things like that, things that she wouldn't always do, but she said that he would tell her to do it. Now whether or not she had heard similar stories to this or, or something like that and just tried to recreate the story to me, I don't know, but I found it very, very strange that this little girl who was definitely disturbed by some sort of paranormal activity, be it she was truly possessed or be it that she was just being visited by darker spirits, would be saying that she met Slender Man outside of her window, that she would see him in the forest sometimes and he would tell her to do really, really bad things. Well, you guys, that is all for today's video. I kind of wanted to tell you guys the, the deep research into Slender Man, where he originated from, and where he's been seen throughout throughout history, and kind of give you guys an inside scoop to it and see what you guys think. Do you guys think that Slender Man is nothing but an urban legend? Do you think that he ever existed? Do you think that he was just a made up creepy pasta that people have taken way too far? And why do you think that little girl committed that in the name of him? Let me know in the comments below. Talk it out amongst each other. Be kind to one another. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys want me to ever read some stories of people's experiences with Slender Man, or if you want me to dive into some more urban legends and things like that, just let me know in the comments below. You know, this channel, as much as it is like my favorite thing to do, and I and I love you guys so much, it is also for you guys. So let me know what you guys want to see from me. And yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's video but you are not yet subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button, and on that note, if you did enjoy today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It makes my heart super, super happy when you do that, so please do that. Remember, my loves, do all things with kindness, and until next time, love you!